Fabio Foren's pregnant girlfriend speaks out. She says, it wasn't me that called the police. It was the neighbors. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. Oh, Black Dynamite, I wish it was that simple, but this is much bigger than you and me. Hey, little mama. It may be bigger than you, and it may be bigger than me, but it ain't bigger than you and me. Can you dig it? BBN! Jack Frost! What's up, party people? I so... Yeah! So... Apparently, the baby mom, the girlfriend, well, the pregnant girlfriend, this is the, the second child that uh, the young lady is going to have with Fabio. Apparently, the pregnant girlfriend of uh, Fabio Foreign has come out to speak in his defense. Okay. So, uh, so what we're hearing is happening, and she came out, uh, for everybody that don't know, Fabio Foreman was arrested, um, on Saturday, right now, this is, uh, the 14th, so he was, the 14th of October, he was arrested on, uh, Saturday, um, the Saturday prior to this one, and it was, uh, nobody knew why he was arrested initially, so he got arrested, they, they took him down to jail, they did not give him any bail when he bond, um, nothing, they holding him. So, uh, a couple of people on the channel during the live stream, I uh, was like, I forgot who specifically, if you remember who it was, put it down in the chat. They said it's probably for domestic violence. Um, I think that was the, uh, assumption why they didn't give him any bond or bail or whatever the case might be. So, apparently, um, the girlfriend has came out and she's basically telling her side of the story. And what her side of the story seems to be is that she didn't want the police called and she also did not want Fabio Foreign uh arrested now before we go any further i just want to make clear that she didn't necessarily say that there was that he didn't uh assault her she was just saying that she didn't want him arrested and she didn't call the police she said the neighbors called the police now there's a couple of things i want to say about this real quick and the number one thing that i want to say is and this is not an indictment on 5 v foreman just so we can be clear i am first of all i'm very happy to see that his baby mama his um girlfriend is supporting him it's always a shame when an individual uh, has either done something to such a degree that there is no support from the baby mama. And it's also quite telling when it, it, it could be about either party, not for nothing. I mean, I'm not trying to say that uh, just because your baby mama don't support you, that means that you did something. And I'm also not trying to say that because uh, your baby mama don't support, her, support you. She did something. I'm just saying that it's very telling that his uh, baby mama, his girlfriend, also his girlfriend, has decided that she was going to speak out in his defense. Um, so he was arrested in Bergen County and apparently, allegedly, allegedly, it's being said that uh, it was the it was the neighbors that actually called the police. Now, there's a couple of things that I want to say real quick before we go any further. And uh, the main thing that I want to say is if the neighbors are calling the police, I'm sorry, there could be a slight assumption made that this is a normal thing that goes on between those two. That this uh, argument or fight or whatever it is, it's probably not the first time they argued or fought. I wouldn't be surprised if, and this is also not at an attack on neither Fabio nor his girlfriend, but I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, they just argue, you know, this is not a, a one-time situation. They probably have gotten in arguments before. This is the time the neighbor said, you know what? I'm tired of minding my business and got involved. Anyway, um, she is saying that she did not want him arrested. And she also is saying that she did not want, uh, she did not want the police called. The one thing she isn't saying though, at least not something that I personally saw is that she was not assaulted. Now, with all that being said, um, I, I am definitely an advocate of protect our women. Do not get this confused. And I'm also very understanding that sometimes people get, I don't want to call it Stockholm syndrome, but sometimes people have, can live in an abusive environment 
for such a long time that this just becomes commonplace for them. And you'll be surprised at how many people who live in abusive environments, if they were put into an environment that was not abusive, they wouldn't even know how to conduct themselves. So with all that being said, put it down in the comment section. I want to know what's going on, which I think guys think about this. I want to know if y'all think um, there's any type of foul play in this. Do you think the neighbor overstepped their boundary? And the, like, should the neighbor have minded their business? And before you go down there into the comment section and give that answer, remember, there are a lot of people suffering. And if somebody did call the police to assist the certain individuals, we might have more people here still alive. And we also would have less, uh, how do you say, child abuse and spousal abuse if more people stood up in, in, in the defense or in help of uh, the people that's being abused. Now I want to say something real quick. Pay very close attention to the thing that I'm about to say. Is there a chance that the baby mama has spoken or said something to a neighbor that made the neighbor feel like we need to call the police when they heard the argument? I'm not trying to put this on her. I have no idea. But what I am saying is often sometimes when a person is living in an abusive household they might confide in people once or twice and sometimes people take that confidence that you've had in them and genuinely want to help and they don't know what to do and sometimes when people want to help and they don't know what to do they call the police so let me know what y'all guys think about this do y'all think that um also he's still locked up he, the, the judge didn't give him nothing. They're just going to hold him. And just so we can be clear on this, from something that I've heard, this is actually a practice that New Jersey does quite often. They have a whole law set up to prevent this. <laughs> but from what I hear, this is something that New Jersey just do. When they get you locked up, they bring you in, they hold you for how many, how many amount of days or whatever the case is. They're in no... No rush at all to free you. So that could be what's going on. I have no idea. Um, we have not heard whether she has any injuries. Um, but one thing that I can say is if the police show up and nobody has any injuries, police are usually pretty happy with just going home or, you know, going to park in the car somewhere so they could go take a nap. So the fact that he actually was, and that's not really a, a knock on the police um just so i can remind y'all about something do y'all remember the two police officers that was gunned down in compton they were shot down because they was busy sitting in their police car sleeping so i'm not just saying that to say that and i'm definitely not saying that to be disrespectful or just to be bashing police in general i'm saying that because we seen that these things actually happen and on top of that you know how many of us if we was a police officer we'd probably park the car somewhere and wait for a call it happens. Anyway, with all that being said, I doubt very much that the police would have just picked her, picked him up and brought him in if there were no uh, marks on her at all, no bruises, no anything. So I guess we got to wait to see what's going to happen. There's a good chance that she might have had some kind of injury, a visible injury that the police were able to see. And that's why it was so that, you know, they didn't need her saying he wanted to, they wanted, pardon me. They didn't need her saying that he needed to be arrested if they see her with visual injuries. Just so everybody know. And on top of that, she's pregnant. So they probably was like, nope, we're not doing this. Because just imagine if they would have just left. They just would have said, hey, you know what? Uh, you, there's no problem here. We, you're not complaining. Uh, she looks like she's a little beat up, but, you know, we got to get up out of here. And then the next thing you know, you find out on the news later that night, rapper Fabio Foreign injures pregnant girlfriend. I'm sorry to say, that might be the end of his career, and that might be the beginning of the end of their careers. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all.
Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it. Oh, Black Dynamite, I wish it was that simple, but this is much bigger than you and me. Hey, little mama, it may be bigger than you, and it may be bigger than me, but it ain't bigger than you and me. Can you dig it?